this video I'm going to be fitting the trigger guard to the stack. We'll see how this goes. So from what I've seen and what I'm seeing here, the trigger guard is a little bit long. Um, so either you have to remove some wood or you have to remove part of the brass from the trigger guard. I think I'm going to remove wood instead of brass. You just got to be careful not to remove too much. It's easier to use a Dremel and just Dremel off some of the brass. It's really tempting to do actually. But I need practice um, using my chisels so I'm going to, I'm going to actually remove some of the wood with the chisels. So uh, I'll show you guys how I'm going to do that. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is make sure that this front part is flush with the front. And I'm going to carve out a line around the back of the trigger guard here. Make sure it's lined up. So I only have to move a very small amount. So it's very important not to remove too much. I'm going to have a gap there, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but I want to make this as clean as possible. This chisel is perfect because it just fits right in the mortise there. So I'm actually going to put this in the vise. Uh, so let's do that quick. That's not the cleanest cut, but we'll see how well it fits now. Yeah, that could have gone a lot better. But that's why I'm practicing with this one before I move on to uh, nicer kits. I'm actually going to Remove a little bit off of the bottom back here too, I think. Just a tiny bit. Alright, um, piece is fitted, there's a little gap on the right side here that I'm not too crazy about, but 
because it could have been a little worse. I'm just going to have to live with that mistake. Now we need to drill the holes and uh, screw this thing in. the trigger guard has been installed. Um, probably could have done without uh, taking that little bit off of the back end here. As you can see that's pretty flush now. I did file it down a little bit so it, the wood wasn't over top of it. But overall it's, it's not too bad. It was pretty easy. I still think of Dremel and just Dremeling off the end of that probably would have been easier, but I'm trying to use hand tools instead of power tools, so. But yeah, overall that wasn't too bad. Still got a little bit of touching up to do with it, I think. Um, I'll probably just do a video of all the touch up that I'm planning on doing all at once, but um, there you have it. All you gotta do is take off a little bit of the end there, whether it's the wood or the brass. Uh, drill your holes and put it in there. Pretty simple. Like I said, just a little bit of touch up. Looks like this edge here is a little higher than this edge, so I'm probably going to have to take a little bit off underneath there, but overall, not too bad. Pretty simple. <laughs>